Racial slurs, swastikas, even a noose? We're digging deeper into troubling allegations at the Daimler Trucks plant, the same plant that just got $20 million of your money. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 5, everybody. I'm Ann State. And I'm Jeff Gianola, and the state is now investigating these racial harassment complaints. And we're going straight to those people who helped Daimler get all of those millions of dollars in government money. Chris Woodard, live tonight in North Portland with this. Chris. Yeah, and we're here in front of the Daimler plant where that harassment, those threats, are said to have taken place. Uh, tonight I've learned that this may go back at least 10 years, something that's been going on for a decade, according to the Labor Commissioner. I've also found out that since that original complaint was filed, even more people have come forward. In this particular case, the allegations are severe. To be blunt, Things have to be pretty bad for State Labor Commissioner Brad Avakian to file a complaint. Many of them have been subjected to uh, racial slurs, have been fearful at work. And the claims of racial harassment at this Daimler Trucks plant are pretty bad, to say the least. Physical intimidation, the threats of physical harm. We got our hands on the official complaints of four employees. Black employees referred to by several different racial slurs. Many we won't show you. An employee threatening a black coworker with a noose, saying he'd drag him behind a car, allowing intimidating graffiti like swastikas to remain in bathroom. I spent some time on the phone today with one of those who says he's a victim. He didn't want to do an on-camera interview, says this is an emotional thing for him. He says it runs deep, something he was worried he couldn't explain in one conversation. So I went to Daimler for answers and was given a statement saying they wouldn't comment on specifics, but they say they do provide anti-discrimination training. That statement reads in part, Daimler Trucks North America takes these allegations very seriously and its efforts are focused on continuing to work with the Oregon Bureau of Labor and Industries to provide relevant information requested in conjunction with the investigation. <laughs> Daimler just got $20 million in incentives from the city and state to expand their Portland headquarters. So I went to both the governor and mayor to ask about these racial harassment claims. They both sent me statements calling this concerning, unacceptable, and saying they expect Daimler to cooperate with the investigation. And the mayor says that he will be monitoring this investigation. The state has one year to complete the investigation, but the labor commissioner tells me it won't take that long. They'll get it done sooner than that. If the claims of what went on at this plant prove true, those victims could be entitled to compensation. Daimler may find themselves in a courtroom facing prosecution. A lot of stuff we'll continue to stay on top of throughout this process. Live in North Portland, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. Some pretty serious charges, so you can count on Coin to keep following this story and the investigation. And remember, you can look for updates anytime, 24-7, coin.com.